today I'm going to be showing you on how to calibrate the model number DWP-102N with the scale of a DWP-10,000F which is a 5x5 five five, which we have today also they also come with a 4 they, they also come by 4x4 four four. what you're going to do is you're going to turn on the indicator here when it's doing its countdown, you're going to press tear to get into the settings. It's going to show RS232. You're going to press the number 2 button to get to Cal. Press tear. It's going to show P dash 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 dash. You're going to enter the password, which is 3131. One. Press tear to enter. It's going to display C unit. What we're going to do is we're going to check the capacity. Which is for mine, it's 10,000 pounds. So we're going to make sure it shows 10,000 pounds, which it does. I'm going to press 0 to back out. And then the increments. For my particular unit, it needs to be increments of two, which is for legal for trade, which is ready is. You're gonna press zero to back out. And then what I'm gonna go to next is the decimals. If, if you wanna add a decimal, you can press one to keep on going over and over. For my case, I don't need one, so I'm going to back out of that. And the last step is to calibration, which you're going to go to UCAL. It's going to display no load, which means make sure your your scale is empty, which is mine is, is empty. You're going to press tear. So basically what this is telling you here is to enter the weight that you want to use for calibration. In my case, Usually you're supposed to use at least 200 pounds, but this is just for demonstration, so I'm going to use 100 pounds. And then once you have entered the 100 pounds, you're going to place the calibration weight on there. shows a stable light so which means it's ready to go press tear it's going to display load once you see the stable light turn on you're good to go you're going to press tear again and then go back to UCAL then you're going to press zero to go back to the weigh mode it's going to do its countdown it's going to show zero once you remove the weights, it should display a negative of what you put on there. I removed a 50 and another 50. So it should display a negative 100, which it does. You're going to zero it out, so you're going to press the zero button. And I'm going to place a 50 pound weight on there to show you that it's good to go. Join 50, so you're calibrated.